all the Valentines. All of the Valentines. Alright, I already said it. Though born to the noble house of Valentine, the young lady knew not only good fortune, but also despair. Her father delved into alchemy in search of the key to eternal youth, Soul Edge, but found only madness and death. As a result, their house met with ruin. Her mother, before being consumed by a terrible illness, revealed to her they were not related by blood. Even so, the young lady's love for her parents was unfaltering. Following in the footsteps of her father, she devoted her life to alchemy and eventually found herself faced with the truth about Soul Edge. This can't be Soul Edge. This evil thing. This is what drove my father to madness? Soul Edge. Such a thing does not belong in this world. On my family's name, I vow to destroy it by my own hands! If Soul Edge is indeed the strongest weapon of all, I shall need to obtain an even stronger weapon with which to destroy it. I know exactly what I need. A shape-shifting blade, both sword and whip, that obeys my will. That is the answer. But how? Damn, I refuse to give up! Wha what in the world? I, Cross of the Pledge, shall confer upon thee the point in the escutcheon of destruction, Dexter Pure. It's alive! Did I succeed? Yes, Dexter Pure. Wait, who are you? The time will come. It is inevitable. And totally not for an evil plan, I promise. <laughs> Just you wow. wait, Soul Edge. With this sword, all shall be carved to pieces. Okay, Shaker Soul Edge. I have decided on a long journey in search of Soul Edge and the mysterious being cut to up with the of beloved sword. On the way, she encountered many people, including another who saw Soul Edge. <laughs> <laughs> it means so. Uh, I remember it means something. Um, but I. Okay, cutscene time. You must be that woman from the West who's searching for Soul Edge. What if I am? Who are you to insult the Sword of Salvation? The Sword of Salvation? <laughs> Aren't you adorable? Let me give you some advice. If you really know nothing, then it's best you turn back now, little girl. Don't treat me like a child! Let's see how your sword fares against me! <laughs> oh god. I really should have played this on the floor. I got that. Let's go high. Battle two. 
Fight! What a... Hey! Chuck! Yeah! Hey! You jerk! Chuck! She hurt! Frustration here. Teddy up! Out there! Out there! See ya! I'm not gonna come Come on. You're strong. Fight. No. Blade, show me your power. Yes. No one escapes me. I don't think I got any fuel for it. Whoa! Oh shit! Uh, thank you so much. No, I'm not done yet. More fighting will only end in the same result. You're too weak. Farewell. Oh, someone hey, on YouTube has subscribed. They can Dragon Slayer. So, I'm not the only one looking for Soul Edge. I really should look at the settings. Face to face with the Ashen Knight. But seemingly never ending journey at her letter Austenberg, and the benefactor she was searching for, Nightmare. The Ashen armor he wore covered him from, from head to toe, leaving only his mutated arm exposed. Oh, though un unable to hide her cure on the other side, I knew she had to repay her debt. Shake hands with a demon if it aided me in my revenge. I intend to pay my debts. Is that so? In that case, Dexter the Pure, I shall require your assistance. My will shall be done. Uh, that name does not sit well. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because. <laughs> He's just trying so hard! Nightbear told I feel of his wish to him during his father's soul to this world through the honor of resurrection. Nothing about the situation seemed appeared normal. To think about this worse, she thought something necessarily uh, uh, caught about the whole companion, about the other companion with whom uh, she would be working, a Hulk and giant by the name Astaroth. <laughs> Look at you! Fleeing for your lives! Escape is futile! And so is resistance! <laughs> Impetuous fool! Soul harvesting? Don't make me laugh! I can't... give up! Hmm. Uh, oh shit. Come on. Oh, whoa, shit. 
Now you're back! Okay, so I just had to beat him out till he to his hilt lowers. Hey! Why'd you let him go? You kill too much. We have enough for now. Does it matter? There are plenty of them! It kind of matters. And resurrection requires many more. Even so, you should show restraint. I am not here to assist you in a massacre. Dungeons are boiling! Uh, okay. I make a lot of quips. Thought that was being funny, but... I feel it's all twirl of the pain of losing a father. By massacring people and harvesting their souls to be so in a battle, something she couldn't countenance. Her anguish ran, ran deep. Alchemists have strived to achieve resurrection, but to no avail. With the Philosopher's Stone. Either to uh, All this them. is to bring your father back. But could it but all to, really uh, be gold. so simple? His words have no ring of truth to them. More souls! I must have more souls! Why does that fiend have such an unquenchable thirst? I'm done. I cannot go on like this. A hidden truth. Ivy decided to depart ways to never our company. However, Astro wasn't ha was simply about to watch in silence as she cut ties with them. Oh shit. Uh. And where are you going? I'm fed up with your methods. It's as simple as that. And I have my own purpose. Your own purpose? Yep. You fool. The soul edge you search for has been in front of you all this time. While I admit his sword does emanate an unusual aura, huh. it would be pointless for him to keep me so close. He knows I seek to destroy Soul Edge. So naive. <laughs> I suggest you wipe that smile off your face. I know he's smiling. Or would you prefer me to wipe it off oh. for you? Mask and all. Irksome wench! You'll see. As of right now, you're on my list of souls to harvest! Okay. That's why I just said I. I'll make you submit. 
Enjoy your treat! Give it up already! Blade, show me your power! No one escapes me! Nice. Perhaps now you'll tell me what you know. You impudent little spare vessel! Spare vessel? <clears throat> what? Okay, I'll head there now. Running away? <laughs> I have more important fish to fry. Don't worry, your turn will come. Don't you walk away from me! Tell me what you know! Damn it. <laughs> Curse blown. Knocked by an uh, ex inexpressible anxiety, Ivy decided to ask Magman himself for the truth. But the closer she got to his, his living quarters, the more anxious she became, until it's written all over her face. Oh, it's supposed to be. Shit. Nightmare. Soul Edge. Why? I wouldn't if I were you. You can't win in your present state. Out of my way! I don't care who you are. But perhaps you could share with me what you know. This blade contains a fragment of Soul Edge. It is reacting violently to your weapon. <sighs> and to you. You seek the truth, but perhaps you already know it. Daughter of the Cursed Sword. No! That's not possible! There's a Star Wars reference in there somewhere. The obvious one. No, why am you far there? Battle one. Fight! I'm the daughter of her soul! It's the truth. Excite! Stand down! Come. KO! Battle 2! Fight! Oh, nice! Oh, that was a nice pass right there. What? Quite good enough. KO. I know. I, you uh, leave me I, no I, choice. I it. It's kind of hard to get her. This is as far oh, as you go. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'll decimate you. Now stay down. You're open, ready? Blade, show me your power! Turn down that Even the powers can't hurt me. Silence! Too easy! Die! Nice. You know nothing. He's not John Snow, you know.
You have strength. Strength that comes from evil. Get away from me! It's up to you whether you believe me or not. But I've fought one who wielded the cursed sword before. Do not take me for a fool. That eldritch aura that envelops you. If I closed my eyes, I'd believe it was Cervantes himself. Think, who is your real father? You're lying! So long. I refuse to believe it until I see it for myself. Nightmare, damn you! I never crossed paths with Nightmare. It appears someone defeated the Azure Knight. As for what happened to Soul Edge, I know not. It's possible the one who vanquished Nightmare has it, or it could have been destroyed. Still, I feel it. A terrible evil calls out to me from somewhere in the world. Yes, I have accepted my fate. I am daughter to the Cursed Sword, the heir of an accursed lineage. So I have made a vow. A vow to obliterate the Cursed Sword and rid my own blade of evil. That is the sole purpose for which I now live. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry. Hmm. All right. 